got to thinking that maybe you guys would like to come along. So let's go pick some more oranges. Here we are at the orange tree. There's one. There's the other. And I don't know if you remember or not, but um, I had posted before about these orange trees and they put out the best oranges. Well, that's what everybody tells me and I kind of tasted them and know it too. Anyway, so I'm going to pick about 20 oranges and I will be right back with you. Here's a shot of them. They're pretty grimy being out here, but I'll take them in the house, get them all washed up. I've got my bag of oranges picked already. Yeah, they're even up underneath here. Lots and lots of oranges. And they are so good. Okay, let's take the bag and get back in Okay, so we're back in the kitchen, and I know this is a little awkward, but I've only got a short cord on my camera, and the, bit, the battery was going to die on me, so I had to plug it in. So I've got about maybe a two-foot cord. I'll have to fix that. Okay, so I picked all the oranges. And I'll bring them up and show you, and yeah, they're kind of pretty dirty. So what I do is I have a kitchen brush. I'm losing my oranges. Anyway, I have a, actually it's a manicure brush. Um, just leftovers from my hairdressing days that I used to do. Um, and I use this in the kitchen. And what I do is I just run the, the oranges under a slow little stream of water and just brush the living daylights out of them just to get all the dirt and grime off of them. So I'm going to set you up in a different position and I'm going to keep doing that. So yeah, I just do a little, little stream. And then just brush, brush, brush. Because it's the orange peel um, that I'm going to use for the candy, not the actual orange itself. Yeah, I know. Strange, huh? But it is really good, and I've had um, a lot of people compliment and say that they really liked it. There was a candy when I was a kid. It was like a gummy kind of, a gummy kind of a candy, and in the shape of an orange wedge. And it seems to me it had some kind of little sugar crystals or sprinkles, not regular sugar. But, whoop, oh, there's an orange, run away. Anyway, it, um, boy, they're all moving. Anyway, um, those candies are what these taste like. It's, Except the orange flavor on these is way more intense than those um, store-bought candies were. So I made these last year and I gave them out as Christmas gifts and took them to the family Christmas dinner. They were a pretty big hit. So I'm going to make another batch. Again, just scrubbing even, I mean, I know I'm going to cut these parts off the ends, um, but I like to scrub any any part of it that I'm going to touch with my hands because I don't want to contaminate another part. No, I'm not using hot water to scrub them with, just regular tap water. Tap. Okay. Alright, so once I've got them all brushed off with the brush, um, then I like to turn the water pressure up a little bit. I don't know if you can hear, but I turn the water pressure up a little bit and put it on the spray just to, just to make sure that I've rinsed them really good and they're nice and clean. Give them a good little rinse, make sure they're all ready. Okay, the next thing on the list is we're going to need a cutting board. Obviously, and a knife. Not a very big one. So it's really easy. What you're going to do to start with, I'll just come over here, is you're just going to take your knife and cut the ends off, both ends, like that. 
It's that simple. That's what you're going to do to them all. Blade in a little bit and score it around. trick is is to peel them. So I'm just going to run my fingernail up along there and pull it off. So well, there's a couple ways you can do this. This is one way. You peel them like this so that all you end up with this is this. Um, on second thought, I'm having second thoughts here. When you do it this way, then you have to peel all this, what's called pith, P-I-T-H, off. Because when you do the cooking process, this pith <laughs> gets really, really bitter. So, um, I remembered last year, I started out doing this this way, and the first batch was very bitter. Even though, you know, I boiled it and got all this off. Then I switched up my process. Let me show you what I did. And I completely forgot about it until just this second, which doesn't change anything. A potato peeler. So I didn't need to cut and score all this for the way I'm going to change up and do this. But what I did after I realized the pith, no matter how much you get off, is, is still very bitter, is just like you're peeling a potato, just take off long strips to show on camera like this maybe so most of the pith is off as you can see and it's fairly thin and this worked really good last year so I'm gonna do it like this it leaves most of the pith on there so we didn't need to to do this although that's what it says on the instructions that I have So they're nice and thin, about as wide as my pinky finger.
inside the pan. You can see they're all pretty evenly sliced. So now I'm just going to rinse this water one time and then put it on the stove. Okay, I got things rearranged and I was just going to show you this is the colander that I use. So I'll just dump this way so you can see. I'll just dump the water that I was soaking these in while I was slicing them in here. Um, the reason is what you're trying to do is get rid of that bitter flavor, the pith. So you're actually going to um, boil these three different times just in water to try and get rid of that flavor from the from the pith, because it does get bitter. And I'll tell you what, if you could smell my kitchen right now, it's really too bad we don't have smell -o vision because it smells fantastic in here. Okay, so I'm gonna get these on the stove. Okay, so I've got this on the stove, on high, and I'm gonna bring it to a full rolling boil don't have to stir it a lot. Periodically I'll come across one that didn't get sliced up thin enough, so I'll just grab them out. Oh, a quick slice. I was going to ask if any of you have a holiday recipe or something that you, you know, that, that you make your recipe specific to any one holiday. It doesn't have to be Christmas. Um, yeah, post it down below in the comments. I'd love to read sugar. them. And again, this was seven and a half cups of sugar, three and three quarters cups of water. You just mix it in there. And I'll bring that to a slow simmer so that all the sugar melts. I also wanted to mention that this wasn't coming to a rolling boil very fast. You can also add a lid uh, to help speed it up to the boiling point. So it's working on, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's working on a pretty good boil right now. Okay, I'm gonna keep this up and I will be back. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take and cut them, I don't know, about quarter inch maybe thick. And these I'm gonna dehydrate and make orange powder out of for uh, orange chicken for my tea. I'll put, you know, make hot tea. Um, orange chicken, oh, and cinnamon rolls. I dust, um, when I make cinnamon rolls, I'll dust it with the orange powder, give it a little orangey flavor. Put it on fish, chicken. Anyway, so that's Plug this I'm thing doing. in, put the lid on it. What temperature? 135 for the temperature. So I'm going to bump this up. Okay, so get this stuff going. The sugar water is nice and, and dissolved. And I'm just going to leave it set. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. All nice and steamy. Probably going to steam up the lens. So I'm going to keep this warm and finish the last boiling process on the orange peels. Then I'll drain them one more time and try and get most of the water off. And then I'm going to dump the orange peels after they've been strained off into the sugar water and I'll bring you back for that process. Okay, well I'm at the end of the third boil. It's boiling pretty good. See, they, they're limp, they're soft, which I think is probably good enough. So I'm going to get these dumped off, get them dried off a little bit. You don't have to do it too much. And get them in the sugar. Okay, so here we go. Let me get you turned around. Oranges, or the orange peels. Woo! 
to pour them off. Okay, so I'm ready to put the orange peels in. Let me go grab them. Let them strain off for about five minutes. Just sit there and... Okay. all a stir and then the instructions again I'll post them down at the bottom there in the comment area uh, so you put them in the sugar water bring it back to a boil a full let's see if I can tip it up a full rolling boil and keep it there keep it simmering I'll double check that um, but I believe it's for 45 minutes this leftover sugar water which is good uh, on your teas, your coffee, if you like orange coffee, you can also marinate your chicken, your fish. I suppose you could use it in, on beef or game. They eat a lot of venison and antelope. I've never tried it, but good. I bet it'd be really good on pork. Ooh. Marinate the pork in this simple syrup, orange flavored simple syrup. Maybe sprinkle some powdered stuff that I'm dehydrating, the powdered orange flakes, and then barbecue it or even, uh, I bet it'd even be good in the crock pot. Yeah, I'll do that on another video, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, that much of a boil, 45 minutes to an hour, or until the orange peel, uh, peels become translucent. Um, try not to stir it, because it causes crystallization in the sugar, and you don't want that. So just let it simmer. Come back in an hour, 10, 15 minutes. You. That they are becoming quite translucent. Try and pull some out so you can see. I don't know if you'll be able to, and it's going to make a mess. Let me get a paper towel. focusing, but they're getting, you can see through the spots on the spoon that they are getting translucent, which is what we want. So five more minutes, and then I'll start scooping them out and putting them on the cookie sheets to cool. And hey, our timer's up, so I'm going to try to figure out how to do this so you can see. Just going to put, scoop these out in little scoops like that drain off quite a bit. I have turned off the heat. I'll just let them drain a little bit. And then just put them on the pan. You want to touch these with your finger. Again, that's hot, hot sugar water. So I'll just spread them out like that. And I'll do that to the whole batch so that they can cool down. They are a beautiful color of orange. 